Look at the lights over on a DCA. All right, you two. Are you ready to actually go into Disneyland? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Oh, mommy. Mommy's down here already. Why? She went in front of us. So, ready, family explorers? We're, we're gonna go there. Yep, Disneyland. But we aren't gonna ride there. We're gonna walk there. Yep, because we're at the hotel. Yeah, and it's right at where they are. Look, I'm in it with everybody else. No, wait, there I am. Where is Elaine? You can't see Elaine. I know mine's wet. Anyway, just a player works. Hi, guys, so right now we're in Studio Springs. Where go? Downtown Disney. Downtown called Disney. Studio Springs. <laughs> so this is what Downtown Disney looks at like 6 a.m. The few people here are probably going to Galaxy's Edge. So we're going to. As you see here, we're in Downtown Disney right now. We're going to. This is it. Too. We're heading over to the park. It's Disneyland, everybody. It's Disneyland. Should we have brought our magic bands just to have them? I feel like I have to be very careful right now with the amount of like copyrights going on with the music in the background. But hopefully, I'm talking over it so you guys can't hear it. All right. We're finally here. Good morning. Thank you. I like all the trees. We definitely don't have that on our side. Very much is. There's no. There's no cut. Don't. You and ruining expectations. Hey, low expectations, and then when they exceed them. Yeah, but you're constantly low expectations, so it's so negative. Oh, there's still flames. Crystal Arcade. At some point, use that sidewalk in your right, please. Look at that. There she is. So, advantage of the Galaxy's Edge, we got a nice empty photo with the castle. I mean, granted, we're a little far back because they don't want us going any closer. Oh, Matterhorn. Matterhorn's taller than the castle. Yeah. Mommy, can we ride the ride? Looks so pretty. We can walk through the castle, yeah. Oh, Mickey. Pizza Planet. From Toy Story. Yeah, he's a planet from Toy Story. Hey! Oh, and there's Hyperspace Mountain. You know, I wasn't planning on doing Hyperspace Mountain, but Emily talked it up so much yesterday, I kind of feel like I have to do it now. Yeah. Like, crap. <laughs> Whew. I had quite a line for this thing. Wow, that's a much different launch bay. Park's not open, but merchandise for Star Wars is. Classic Disney. Oh, see, so here's. They say Disneyland, though. So the cars apparently opens up later because they have to get them ready. So we're going to do Submarine Voyage. Look at Matterhorn. Elaine, you're going to do that one with me, right? Yep, the big mountain. Yeah. All right. Oh. Wow, this is actually submarines that you crawl into. I was always curious how they did this ride.
summary. How cool is that? And all to ourselves. Only hit one third. Pressure in the bag. Rescue readings are normal. Flood the main dust. Take it down. More than a good. For a coral to grow only one Evelyn, inch. you like this? An amazing fact when you consider that Australia's great barrier roof stretches over. Alright, you two. First Disneyland ride. How are we feeling? Okay. Oh, look, crabs. Yep. Not good at all. Not good at all. Was it scary for you? <laughs> first things first, though. There's a moose. All right. Welcome small to world time. Small world. Uh -huh. For your safety, please remain seated it's, throughout your voyage. It's sad Keeping that there's not going to be any arms, uh, feet and legs magic band reading, so we won't see our names because we're the only ones on the ride. Oh, that's Tinkerbell too. Peter Pan Tink. I'm very confused by the snowman. Oh, that's right. There's Alice. Why is he holding the pickaxe upside down? I'm very confused by that stance. The kite is Mushu up above us. So that's Ping and Mushu. They need the Emperor's New Groove in here. They need a Kronk and Cusco. They should turn that guy into Kevin. Who did we find? On Ariel, can't stop the ride. And Flounder, so excited. I normally like the suns in Small World, but this guy is creepy. Just the white eyes, that is creepy, creepy, creepy. This is very cool. I like that interview. It's a but it's a Nutcracker musical. Musical Nutcracker. See if we can do this. Mr. Toad is up. Sarah's been waiting for this one. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah, we're excited for this. Are you driving? All right. Oh no! All right, first time to do. Across the actual drawbridge. Wow, this is much shorter of a drawbridge than I always thought it was. Street is so much shorter. This would be such an easy, quick run. It is odd seeing that the castle is not the tallest thing. With the Matterhorn right there. Hi, train. See, this is so much better walking in. It's so empty. No one's here. My goodness, is that the line for the cantina? All right, so there are plenty of videos of Galaxy Jet out there. So I'm more worried about if it's kid friendly and the vegan food. And that's really all I'm gonna talk about here. Since we're not riding the ride because this one's too small. Where do you wanna go? All right, so old outpost is this way. I just saw some, I just saw some footprints. Yeah, you're right. So that's interesting. They actually got like smoke coming out of the X-wing. I feel like you'd be able to hear Chewy from here. Don't you? Mm -hmm. What are you thinking so far? Like is this interesting, cool, if not? I think it's kind of cool. You think it's kind of cool? What do you think so far, Evelyn? Is this kind of cool? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's nothing think? cool to you today? We are entering. They do got some interesting sounds going on. I'll give them that. 
We're gonna get some good look up at Disney's here. All the kid cars. Well, how would you think about having one of those? It would be very fun. I could fly up into the sky. Yeah. If it flies, I would love to have one. You would love to have one. It's a bunch of, like it's an open bazaar, so a bunch of like small little stands. Yeah, little mouse droids. They're using an engine for it to cook food. Whoa, look at that. It is hard to tell what things are. So I don't know if this is a ride or. No, I think that's the. Yeah, the little uh, statue thing. Jedi Academy. Oh, that's a Jedi thing? Okay. I mean, that's cool. This is the coolest corner so far, though. and first order area like I mean we knew coming in wasn't going to be very family friendly like especially for the girls who don't really care as much about Star Wars and it's disappointing that they really don't have anything except like become a Jedi build your lightsaber type stuff noises around us so for them, it's nothing really special, and you kind of knew it coming in that it would, would be geared towards them. Still, I mean, as far as Disney goes, it's kind of disappointing because Disney's very family friendly, not have anything. Because even like Avatar, Pandora, like they had stuff. Toy Story Land, it's very family friendly. I don't know, just kind of disappointed. Don't get me wrong, very interactive, very cool. As far as like the immersion of the actual era, I think they did very well with like the mound spires in the distance and all that. So you really like. You look far out and it seems like it just keeps going and going and going. The one thing I'll say I wish they did, I wish they put a like, little net over certain areas so they could project like actual spaceships flying around you. So that would be very cool, I think. Because it would just immerse you a little bit more and make you realize that things are going on outside. I really don't like this car area. Like all the stores are, stores are so shallow, you can't fit anyone in it. So you can't even look at what they have. Sarah pointed out a good thing, there's also no pin trading back here. You know what else there's not in here? Dancing over there. A penny. Oh, you're right. We haven't seen a penny press. I guess it's part of that immersion thing, though. Oh, but you could do a penny press here. The vegan meatballs, very good. Highly recommend them. They're delicious. Best part of this place so far. One we were looking forward to the most. So very happy that that played out as it needed to. We are going to now leave Galaxy's Edge and head back into Disneyland. Look, it's an aperture sign. We're walking here and this one's just posing. Just peace sign up, just walking like that. As if she's constantly being just recorded. You are so weird, child. It is a very pretty castle. Good old sneaky snook is out. We head back to oh, there's small the world. Train. Oh, that's kind of cool. And the train here is much, much, much better than the train in Disney. Nikki's Toontown. And to Toontown we go. This is very cool. I never saw the Toontown at Magic Kingdom in Disney World because I didn't really start going until they had New Fantasyland. This is very cool. I like this. Oh, it's a goofy scarecrow. And this is Goofy Town. Yeah, that's Goofy's house. Toontown. What's wrong? Goofy's house. Yeah, oh, did he crash into his mailbox? Yeah, somebody crashed into the mailbox. It's probably Goofy himself. Oh, and there's Minnie Mouse's house. Oh, yeah. Come on, I'm a dumb thing. Of course, Donald is a boat. I like the hand cranking you up. I appreciate that. 
I like it back here. I like it a lot. This is like the Little Mermaid's walk in Disney World. It just goes on and on and on. She's back as a disco ball. Was that good, Evelyn? Is it better than Goofy Ride or equal to or? I didn't catch that. Would you say equal to? She said it was good. It was good, okay. Chip, Chip and Dale. They're tiny house stairs. Yeah. Oh, I have to bent over. I'm on all fours climbing these. <laughs> Elena's over here narrating all of it. Oh, it's Mickey and Walt. That's so nice. So do these count as hidden Mickeys? Since it's Mickey's house. It's Mickey's magical mirror. Because there he is. That one is Evelyn. Mickey's right there. And they're more interested in the makeup on the table. Yeah. Alright, happy first visit! Woohoo! Right this way, Palios. Cheese! Again, does the Mickeys in here count? Are they cheating? Let me guess. My goodness, look at that. What's in what's in the refrigerator? Did you just call her Goofy? She said, I rode Goofy. Oh. And it doesn't look like a picture? And right over here for us, everybody. How is he supposed to get any mail when his mailbox is floating in the water? She's been walking, narrating, holding her hand like she has the camera. You a little embarrassed there? <laughs> All right, Tarzan's treehouse it is. You gonna walk up here? You're gonna walk at the top though, okay? She's literally just holding her hand like she's holding the camera. Ooh, I'm a little winded from carrying her up. Yeah, come on. Come on. Since when do they have a pirate ship? Ooh, a pirate ship. Elaine, Evelyn, wait here. Evelyn. Evelyn, come here. So right now we're Alright, now we can go. We just wanna go together. This is hilarious today. That's right. The gorilla is saving the baby. All right, slow. And look, there's Mrs. Potts and Chip. Cranky here's getting hungry for lunch. As we stop and devoured a pineapple raspberry swirl dole whip. Very, very good. The treehouse here was much shorter. We got done, we got some Dole Whip, which is empty now. And Sarah's getting back from Indiana Jones. Finally. By myself, but still. Okay, three things. First off, Indiana Jones was amazing. Like, I was very iffy at first, with the, uh, the start off was a little slow. I like the dinosaur start off better, setting back in time. But once you get into the actual temple, that was amazing. That was such a great ride. That was really cool. Second, there's a post and a dark hallway. I have translations lenses. I couldn't see it. I definitely knocked myself out a little. Third, Star Wars Land is cool, but for me, an Indiana Jones Land, a Muppet Land, or 
Lord of the Rings land would have me all the way there. I want more of this. More Indiana Jones. Give me more. That was so cool. Hungry Bear. The uh, plant-based cheeseburger is vegan as is. Very good. Very spicy. Be aware of that. It was spicy. That sauce is itself. Not, nothing else, but the sauce was spicy. So if you don't want spice, don't get that. Yay, poo. Correction. We will not be doing Winnie the Pooh because it is down. And if you guys notice, I am right next to Club 33. That's right upstairs here. Pretty cool. All right, train was down. Long line for Haunted Mansion. Who was down? So, we're trying pirates. All right, as we're here doing the first penny press that we found, I want to say, like, I've been trying to be really good and not comparing Disney World to Disneyland and sides. I want to enjoy each of them on their own. But, having no smell for the burning of the town and parts of the Caribbean is inexcusable. <laughs> There's no reason they couldn't do that. And I'm so disappointed in Disneyland. Are you going to ride it with me? Because you're tall enough for Hyperspace Mountain? This is exciting. This is my new camera one. Yeah. She's trained so well. She noticed that Mickey's in the middle of the chairs between the, like speakers. I'll show you guys in a second. But she, she saw it. She's, she's got good eyes. You guys see in the middle between the seats? It's so fun. You enjoyed that one? Were you scared? You were part of a space battle. How cool is that? You closed your eyes and you had your hair in front of your eyes. But you had fun. Right? I am so proud of you. You have no idea, child. Enjoying this one so far? We're driving on a roof. Oh, well, that's probably shouldn't be there. Other people said, Was that one good? Abba, do you like that one? I like that one. That one was good. I wish we had that one. Snow White time. So, let me get this straight, child. You will go on Hyperspace Mountain and enjoy it so much, but Snow White's adventure scares you. It's too scary. Too scary. And then on the reverse side, this one can't do any sort of roller coaster, but she doesn't seem to be scared by any sort of dark coaster there is. I'm, uh, I'm scared of the dark coaster. What dark coaster? Um. Matterhorn Sound. Just under the fast pass. Seems to be a theme today. Everything seems to be going down. Down, down. They are on or getting on teacups. Dinner, we're at the Rancho del 
sriracha, I believe it is. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. We got the tostada salad, uh, veggie, no cheese, no sour cream. It's a lot of food. And reasonably priced, twelve fifty for a mouth that I got was and it was really good. Sarah got the enchiladas. Uh, she was very happy with it. She liked it a lot. I feel like this is much more of like a, a southern mansion than what we got. Oh, there's the pet cemetery. You know who's not in this pet cemetery? Mr. Toad. Are we ready for a haunted mansion? Yeah, that's down there. Rear rabbit and rear bear on their fun filled adventures. Sweeps and Mary Poppins. That was cool. I put the camera away, of course. So I got the very back end. happy now that she found ducks because there's some ducks sleeping over there but right now we are waiting for Sarah who rode hyperspace mountain and this one just had a complete meltdown that mommy left her she loves mommy mommy is her mom oh see she's breaking out again focus on the ducks we're waiting for mommy she's coming she's tired she's very tired all right now you can hear so how Tobio is fun right Evelyn directed me and what happened when I didn't listen to your directions? What happened? Yeah, we went off road. Uh huh. Just tells me I need to listen to her more, right? Right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to end the night on the monorail back to downtown Disney. Get some ice cream, head back. You know what the most amazing thing about this monorail is? You guys? No. We're not being asked to move all the way down to fill in all available space. Yeah, the dance party going on down there. We got this. But we, it is 8.30. We were here since 6.30. So like a 14-hour day. What was our first day? How do we feel about it? Disneyland, we like it? Evelyn, do we like Disneyland? You want to be here?